everybody welcome back to trail of fire guys i got a few pods here that are starting to come in off my plants um, i'm getting excited most of them are not ripe yet and uh we I mean, don't get too excited i don't have any super hots yet i got tabasco peppers and these are the little guys the little ones actually got ripe quicker I got some big chunky boys out there I can't wait to jump into. But I'm going to do this. Um, I actually got a couple things I'm going to review here, but I'm going to start with these, um, these little Tabasco peppers. I was going to cut them open and check out on the inside of them, but they feel okay to me. A couple more a little soft, but let's do this. Oh, wait. I don't have to do one at a time. Wow. Man. A little bit warmer than I thought. Really juicy. I don't usually review my own peppers. Hmm. Really sweet. It went up my nose. <laughs> oh man, that tickle. I forgot to look up the Scoville on these, but if I'm not mistaken, I think they have about twice the heat of a habanero. Fruity, different though. It's not the same kind of fruitiness you'd get from a habanero. Habaneros are more like kind of a citrusy, get citrusy notes to it. And these are just, <clears throat> they're sweet, just like a, um, kind of like something you would get kind of like an apple-y sweetness to the Tabascos. At least that's what I taste. It is not a floral pepper. I've heard a couple people say they are. I've never gotten any floralness off of Tabasco peppers. The heat's climbing on that. So... Those actually did have a little bit of heat. It is making my eyes water a little bit. Anywho, so my drink. I got a drink here and I got some uh, really chunky avocado toast I'm going to dig into. And I'm going to put some heat on this too. So, anybody that's familiar with like Dave's Insanity Sauce, Dave's Gourmet Sauces, I have this one, Hurt and Habanero. It's a habanero based sauce. Uh, most of their sauces have extract in it, so um, I'm kind of in wimpy mode right now, so bear with me. I'm going to read the ingredients here. Habanero peppers, apple cider vinegar, cane vinegar, lime spices, garlic, salt, cane sugar, hot pepper extract. I don't like extract, but since I like their other sauces, I'm going to give it a shot. Uh, yeah, hot pepper extract, onion, citric acid, acetic acid, exanthan gum, ascorbic acid, paprika, oregano extract, or oregano, however you say it. I say oregano. Anyways, I'm going to get to that right here in a second. I got this. This is one of the Jones sodas that I have not tried yet. I'm not a big soda drinker once in a while. They got a new Mountain Dew out or something cool. So it does, it says MF Grape. Does anybody know what the MF is? Mother Grape. Okay, I gotta keep it PG. Can't be dropping the F bomb there. MF Grape. Mother freaking Grape. All right, let's try this. Is this a pop? Is this a pop top? Is oh, it is a twist off. I'm just weak. <clears throat> All right. <sighs> Smells like grape dimatap. Yeah. 
it tastes just about like that. It's really good. Which surprisingly, because I'm not really a, like a grape soda fan, um, I grew up on like orange and grape soda to the point where I don't want it anymore because I drank so much of it when I was younger. But I don't have a spoon. Do I have a spoon around here somewhere? Um, I might have to go get one. Um, thought I had one here on the table. Pretty cool though. If you look, it's got a habanero. It looks like a it looks like a ghost pepper. They're sunbathing on there. <laughs> I'm trying to make these videos not so uh, not so boring to put on food. Wow, this smells really, really peppery. Whew. My mouth is still on fire from the Tabasco peppers, and the soda did not help. It's mostly water. Anybody in the chili community should know. That anything that's water is not going to make the heat go away. I just really, but the soda was really good. I just want to try it. I'm going to try a little bit of this on the spoon. I don't like the taste of extract, so I'm just trying a little bit, and I'm going to put it on my avocado toast. Hmm. This actually is better than I thought. It has a peppery and... peppery and fruitiness to it it's weird it's almost like like it almost tastes like like papaya or something i'm gonna get this piece here because it's got a big old chunky tomato and some onions on it oh, I'm burping between the soda and those peppers all right down the hatch mmm Are pretty damn good. What kind of spicy meals are you guys having tonight? Drop a comment, let me know. I don't care what anybody says, I love my avocado toast. I know it's hippie food. Mmm. Had somebody call me soy boy the other day. I thought that was funny. Mm. This is good. I'm going to bite from this end. That's where all the sauce is at. Extract or no extract, this stuff up. Uh, it's pretty good. It does have the annoying flow restrictor on it, though. That's all good. It's kind of a thinner sauce, so I guess it works out okay. I just always end up getting a bunch of sauce in the threads, and then, you know, you have a messy bottle in, in your fridge. I don't know, does that drive you guys nuts or what? Mmm. Put that down for a second. This is great on the toast. I would recommend this on fish tacos. And if you don't like fish tacos, even chicken tacos or beef tacos would be fine. But I would say fish or poultry, 100%. Absolutely, this would go good on it. It's got a warning label on it. It says, warning this product may be addictive to those with taste buds. I don't know anybody that doesn't have taste buds, but, you know, that's news to me. Anyways, but don't worry, we'll make more shake well and refrigerate after opening. Do you guys refrigerate your hot sauce? I only refrigerate my fruit-based hot sauces. Anyways, yep, so it's got the heat notch right there. Um, I guess according to them, that would be like maybe an 8 out of 10. For me, on my heat scale, and like this is just me. I probably would give it a 2 out of 10, depending on like how heavy I was going on my food, but you guys seen about how much I'd use, so I'd say this is probably about 2 out of 10. It does have some legit heat, it has some good flavor, they didn't overkill it with the extract to where that's all you could taste, there's nothing that bumps me out more when they take a good hot sauce and ruin it by putting too much extract in there. 
But if you're into that thing and you only like heat, hey, knock yourself out. Anyways, but that's what I got. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. If you're new to this channel, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I'd love to see you around. And uh, also, I'm on Instagram. Feel free to reach out and uh, connect with me there. I'd love to hear from you. Until next time, guys, I'll see you on the trail of fire.